Today we're going to be reading Tickly Octopus by Ruth Galloway. Down in the ocean among the swirling seaweed and the colorful coral lived a tickly octopus. He had eight twisty twirly tentacles and he loved to use them to tickle. When octopus tickled the little fish, they jumped and giggled, wiggled and jiggled. They thought tickling was tons of fun. But most of all, the creatures found his tickling tiresome. Octopus tickled starfish and made her squirm. Stop it, she squeaked. Octopus tickled clickety clackety crab and crab tripped and tumbled into the sand. Go away, he snapped. But I'm tickly octopus and I'm really good at tickling, said octopus sadly and he swam off to tickle the wiggly, jiggly fish again. One day, o o Octopus saw oysters snoozing among the seashells. He couldn't resist giving her one teeny tiny tickle. But Oyster woke with a jump and dropped her precious pearl. Ping! Bip! Boing! It bounced over the rocks and was swept away by the current. Oh no, gasped Octopus. Poor Oyster was very upset. Sorry, said Octopus. I'll get it back for you. Octopus raced through the water with a whoosh and a swoosh. Wee, he thought. I never knew I could be so super speedy. Whoosh! Octopus followed the pearl as it tumbled to the bottom of the sea. Wow, he thought. I never knew I could swim so deep. At last, Octopus reached the pearl. But, plink, plonk, plop. Oysters, precious pearl bounced over the rocks and slipped through a small gap in the ocean floor. Octopus squished and squashed and heaved and squeezed and managed to push his rubbery body through the gap. Oh, he thought, I never knew I could be so slinky. There glinting in the darkness, was a smooth and shiny pearl, but just behind it was a fierce eel. Yikes, squeaked Octopus. He quickly picked up the pearl and sped away. Give me that pearl, roared the eel. Octopus huffed and puffed as the eel chased him. He, he'd swum such a long way, and he was very tired. The eel was getting closer and closer. With a spurt and a squirt and a belch and a squelch, Octopus sprayed a cloud of black ink. The eel couldn't see a thing. Oh my, thought Octopus. I never knew I could be so inky. And he danced happily back to Oyster. Oyster was delighted to get her pearl back. I promise I won't ever tickle you again, Octopus said. I've found lots of other things I'm good at doing. From now on, I'm going to be a speedy, deep sea, slinky, Inky octopus. But I'll still be a little tickly too. The end.